Okay, so what is a slant asymptote? Well, we so far we've talked about vertical and horizontal asymptotes. So if we're looking at it, you know, remember, a vertical asymptote is going to be a um, vertical value line that our, our function is going to approach that's going to be vertically. So our horizontal is also going to be the same thing where our, our function is a value that our function is going to approach, but it's going to be horizontally. So a slant is exactly what you take. Think of it, it's going to be a line that our function is going to approach that is going to be a, a, um, a line. So how, when do we have slant asymptotes? Well, we have slant asymptotes when, let's say we have f of x equals uh, x squared plus 1 divided by x. All right. Whenever you're looking at a, poly, a rational function, all right, we're going to be dealing with rational polynomials. Whenever we're dealing with rational polynomials, we look at our degree of our numerator and our denominator. Whenever the degree in our numerator is larger than the degree in our larger degree in our numerator is larger than the degree in the denominator, we now have hor or, sorry, slant or oblique asymptotes. So to find the value of your slant asymptote, what we do is we use long division. So I take my denominator. See, the important thing is since it has a smaller degree, I know I can divide my denominator into my numerator. So to find the value of my slant asymptote, I'm just simply going to divide x squared plus 1, or x into x squared plus 1. So I say x squared, uh, x squared, Right, we can put a 0 in there for my long division. So x goes in x squared, x times. x times x is x squared, and that's it. So then I bring down a negative 0x plus 1. x does, um, goes into x goes into 0, negative x squared, which is 0. So it's going to be 0 times. And then when we bring it down there, x goes into 1, negative times. So then I'm going to say plus 1 over x. Now, our remainder. Whenever you're dealing with your remainder, that's going to go to infinity. So we're not going to be concerned with our remainder. However, if I just want to find my slant asymptote, all I'm going to do is take my quotient and not re, re, not care about my remainder because it's going to, uh, it's going to head off to um, infinity as it's working. So, or I'm sorry, not infinity. As it goes to infinity, it's going to go to 0, which will not affect my slant asymptote. So when I look at this, x is going to be my slant asymptote. Well, what do I mean x will be my slant asymptote? What I mean is y equals x is your slant asymptote. Remember, our horizontal asymptote was y equals a value. So, well, when we have a slant asymptote, it's going to be the same thing. y is going to equal you know, that value. But in this case, rather than it being a number, it's now going to be a, a, uh, you know, a line of some forth that's going to have a slope rather than there where we have a slope of 0. So here you're going to have a slope with this one has a 1. You could also have you know, a linear equation it can end up. So that is what a slant asymptote is. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.